Hi, I decided to start a project within a project. The bigger project is a tadpole tilting trike with a continuous improvement and iterative approach. I started with something that broke after a few meters and now I have something that I actually love to ride. But there are always things that can be improved. So this keeps being a project of endless improvements. But for some time I've been itching to make my own electric mid-drive. So this is the beginning of that project. I expect it will take some time until it's actually useful in the trike and then some more time and iterations to be actually good. Well, this is how it starts. This frame is made to fit a Bosch drive unit. So the first thing I need to do is to design the fitting. I couldn't find the technical drawings anywhere of how this fits and it's pretty curvy too. So the best thing to do here is to use a 3D scanner. I'm using a Revel Point Metro Wax. They were so kind to offer this one to me and because I mostly work on prototypes, this is super helpful in my workflow. I'm using a feature scan. You don't need to install markers or anything, just point it and scan. Though without the markers, you have to move slowly and be careful so it doesn't get lost. But you have indicators in the software that tell you about the right distance. It uh, does take some experience to know how much is enough for your scan, but I always do multiple tries to find a result that pleases me. After that, you have some tools to process the part. First of all, I click this one click edit, which takes a couple of minutes doing its thing, but when it's done, the part looks so much better. Then you can use the available tools to process the part further. Only thing I'm using here actually is the tool to delete things that don't matter to me and simplify the parts so it will be easier to be processed by my CAD software. But you can also scan using markers and I was curious to see if I get better results by scanning with the markers. Now actually I can move it more without it getting lost. So I do get more detail in different angles. I kind of concluded that if I want a detailed part and scan in different angles, it is better to have the part or the frame in this case scanned with the markers. The post-processing is pretty similar to before, as I do the one-click editing, cut out the extra bits and simplify the parts. With my CAD software I import the scan and design around it, just a simple part to test fit. This is the first try and fits perfectly. And I did the same process for the other side, also first try. Now I can go on and design the rest of the mid-drive to be.
Note that on this side, the bottom bracket uh, tightens counterclockwise because that's the opposite sense of how the pedals go. If it would tighten clockwise, then it would just uh, be impossible to remove one day. This is obviously not an electric mid-drive yet. We have the fitting into the frame, we have the position for the bottom bracket, and we have a general sense of uh, the space to fit the motor and other stuff. This is the start of a project. I don't think I'll make an electric mid-drive better than the one uh, Bosch did, 
but I think it's possible that I'll make one that I like more because it's uh, tailored to my use. And these projects for me are more about the journey. Today I know nothing about gearboxes, clutches and so on, but uh, in a few iterations of these projects I'll know a bit. So I made this video because I think it's an interesting journey to share. See me next time. Cheers!